Okay, we're changing out the uh, saw blade. We just sharpened up a fresh one on our new Harbor Freight chainsaw sharpener. We'll see how that works. We also adjusted the chain height on the uh, cut, I mean. cleaning in here. See, so if you look at the chain, this part of the chain here, this is the cutting edge. This part of the chain here decides how big the chip's going to be. And the chain we're putting on, um, because it's been sharpened so many times, this riser was too high and causing almost sawdust. So we lowered that down to a hardwood setting based on our little gauge and we gave it a good sharpening and uh, we're gonna see how it does. Open this up a little bit. I'm not going to do a great job, but <clears throat> just going to fill it up here in a sec. This here needs to be cleaned out. And I wish I had my hair compressor. But she's on another project today. But this is your oiler. So oil will come from your pump, comes into this slot, and then gets pumped into your chain through the hole right there. That's all plugged up. So we'll flush all that out, clean all that up. And we'll be flipping this bar back over. sure she's good and clean down through the track here. There we go. You see how she's all cleaned out. Then we will travel through here and then loop the chain up through there. There's a slot in the track that meets up with this hole. We get that Putting done. Fire on the opposite way. That it was. And there's a reason I do that. Um, your bar will wear. So most of your cutting's forces go this way. So this was the bottom before. Now we're back to the factory side. Uh, at least the factory side relationship to the printing. I think I did notice that's interesting. The factory the factory chains at 80, but yet this bar is stating 72. I need to check on that. When the 80 works perfect, it might be because of the length of the chain. I don't believe so, but we'll stay with it. I 
and this is the original chain. If you can see it on there, but it is stamped on the drive link. Somebody's have a bit of a head call, so sniffling a little bit. See the little adjuster pins in the way. So get this on somewhat loose fit. And we'll just make sure that it's adjusting and the PS2. Yeah, sometimes you just got to play with the screw and the adjustment and make sure it sits down. Don't clamp these down unless you've got the adjuster into the bar. Okay. Let's snug her up. A lot of people have a lot of different comments on how tight a chain should be. Just keep in mind that you have a cutting edge. And you have a riser here. The, once the cutting edge hits a piece of wood, the chain is going to try to cock like this. If the chain is loose, which I'll show you. Suppose I hit a piece of wood. If the chain is loose, see how she rocks up. And what that will do is bring the riser up high, and that will minimize your cut. So you need to keep the chain tight enough that the chain that is cutting is not kicking and rocking on you. So that being said, I keep mine pretty tight. Make sure you can roll it smoothly and a little bit tighter than that. And you'll find out that once you start cutting, because this bar, depending on where you are, I try to push mine up before I tighten. Um, but that will cause the chain to loosen up only because of your pivot point down here. Not a big deal. That's why you always carry your wrench with you. Mm. 
And with this little wrench, don't be afraid to really crank on these nuts. You're not going to break them off. Okay. Now we can fuel it up and put some bar, bar lube on there. That's another thing I like to do is lube up the bar. We're in Tennessee, so just your generic bar and chain oil is fine. When we lived in Vermont, you needed the thinner bar and chain loop or cut yours down a little bit because it gets too thick when you're cutting down 20 degrees or so. Okay, another thing I do here is pour a little on the bar. The chain run through it. And that tracks it all up through, makes everything all nice and slippery and happy. That way you don't have to wait for it when you fire it up. Ah, just about full. Perfect. Okay, let's go cut some wood. <laughs> 